People who prefer to use feeling and decision making use a very valuing process. They consider what is important to them and to other people. In order to make decisions, they will mentally place themselves in a situation and they're going to identify with everyone who may be affected or involved. Their goal, of course, is harmony and the recognition of individuals. And their strengths include understanding and appreciating people. They are highly, highly attuned to others and they're committed and they're loyal to people and causes which are important to them. Their focus is on finding out what is positive about everyone, every situation, and supporting them. Most people who prefer feeling are very sympathetic. They assess decisions according to their values, which focuses on the impacts of other people as well. They strive for harmony and identification and validation. They're tender-hearted, compassionate, and accepting. Part of the essence of this feeling function is really valuing everyone, every and each individual's experience and their perspective. And they wanna use these as a basis for making logical decisions. It can be hard for thinking types to include things that are illogical or irrelevant. But remember, these are logical and relevant to a feeler. The trick is to keep in mind that the experience, perspective and emotions of each individual involved are very relevant, whether they seem logical or not to a thinker. To experience extroverted thinking, identify two or more people you would really like to get to know better. Then in a very relaxed, non-work related setting, like lunch maybe, ask them some questions that help you to get to know them better as individuals, apart from tasks. Notice each person's expressions, their body language, and adjust your interactions to what you sense he or she may be feeling. When you need to make a decision, stop and list all of the people who are going to be affected in any way by this decision. Be very careful not to leave out those who may be independent upon you. Remember those also that are dependent upon you. Consider each person. Put yourself in his or her place. Imagine the decision the impact is going to make on the person emotionally. Check out how successfully you have done this by going to a few people and asking them to give you their viewpoint and include this information in your decision. When there is a conflict between you and another person, try to discuss the areas you agree on before focusing on or resolving the problem. Take turns stating a point where you could adjust, modify, or give in to reach an agreement. In a meeting, listen to what people are saying and then try to state what you agree with in each person's position, even if it's just a minor part. If you can't find any point of agreement, try to focus on anything real and positive about that person's participation. Lastly, to experience extroverted feeling, buy a box of note cards and substance. Make sure that you keep them close on hand. Whenever someone has done something that was helpful for you, even if it was part of their job, not yours, write a short note and thank them. Tell them how it made your life easier. Be sure to address it, stamp it, and then mail it immediately. As in with all wonderful experiences, be sure to take some time to report and to record in your learning journal how you have experienced feeling.